So this is the iPhone 14 Pro in the deep purple and this is going to be the unboxing video of this device. So just like all the time we have a nicely uh, packaged iPhone in front of us but yeah this is actually a bit different because it's already 2023 and this iPhone got out in like the last year so I only unbox it right now which doesn't really play a huge role but yeah that's the difference. Anyways, of course, just like the iPhones now don't have any plastic wrapping, only like two uh, things in here. So here are two straps which you can pull. So uh, if you want to open it up, you need to pull it here and here. And of course, this iPhone is the 256 gigabytes version. So it's something in between. It's not like the fully specced out 14 Pro. It's not even the max model, but I actually did not want that because I find it to be a really big. Anyways, let's open it up. So let me just unwrap it like this. And also this lower portion, so there you go. And now I can just lift up the box and there it is. Oh, and it looks, actually, I'm not really used to seeing that huge uh, camera bump in here. Because, for example, here's the 11 Pro. And yeah, that's a huge difference. I'm like really used to having this kind of smaller uh, cameras on the back, like uh, I've been using the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro and stuff. And that there is actually a huge difference in the size of the camera lenses, like obviously. But yeah, for me, it's kind of a different thing. So, OK, let me just pull it up like this and place it aside. So as you can see, besides that, we have a basic packaging. So of course the Apple sticker, but the background and the paper, which it is on is kind of a different texture because you can hear that it's not really the glossy paper, which usually comes with the Apple sticker. I have unpacked a lot of Apple products and this is kind of new for me, even like this kind of paper on the Apple sticker is not really important. Of course, we have the SIM eject tool because of course I am in Europe and this kind of stuff about no SIM card slot. It doesn't really apply to me. So yeah, it has a SIM card slot right here. So definitely also I need the SIM eject tool. So this is also part of the packaging. And besides that, only like basic paperwork and another cable, which is the USB-C to lightning we still have a lightning port on the iphone we haven't moved on to usb-c just yet although it's rumored to happen the next year or actually this year in 2023 anyways i'm gonna just uh, take away and put away the, the cables and accessories there isn't a lot in here actually so yeah let me just close the packaging like this and let's take a look at the iphone so as you can see from the front we have this sticker on the top of it so let me unwrap it real quick So there it is. If you take a look at it from a, like a good angle, you can already see the pill cut out. So uh, yes, you can kind of see it if I point it to the light. So it looks really nice. Of course, this is the deep purple color is the new one. So I really liked it. And that's why I decided to like purchase this one. So yeah, I can just boot it up like this. So wait for the Apple logo to show up. Here it is. And also for this iPhone, I purchased like a random case and also a screen protector, which is interesting. One thing about it is that you can see that it is for iPhone 14 Pro 2022. And here, as you can see, uh, there is no mention of the Dynamic Island. Like the case uh, manufacturers and like, of course, accessories for this, they knew about the design of the iPhone, that it's going to be like a pill cut out, but they had no idea that the software feature called the Dynamic Island is actually going to be a part of the iPhone that was actually really secret. Of course, we get leaks about the upcoming iPhone uh, for multiple reasons. One of them is that Apple already has to share the details about uh, the iPhone dimensions to phone case manufacturers and stuff so they can be ready when new iPhones actually ship. So that's one thing. And that's how they knew that it's going to be like the camera and the pill cutout. But they had no idea about the dynamic island. So that's really interesting, like a fun fact about the iPhone 14 Pro. But let me just put it inside the case real quick, just so it is protected nicely. So here it is. And now we can just set it up regularly. Like, I think I'm also going to install the screen protector glass because I have it in here. It's the tempered glass. I mean, it's not really anything special about it as far as I, I can see in here. But here it is. And I'm going to like install it. So let me take off the case. 
Okay, so here it is, is the tempered glass and here as you can see is the top because we have the cutout, slight cutout for the speaker in here. So uh, at first we need to clean the screen with the cloth or whatever is equipped with this. So yeah, we have the microfiber, like a tiny one and also and also like a wet towel as far as I believe it should be this. So yeah, let me just clean up the iPhone screen really quick and I'm gonna install it, uh, install the screen protector. I would advise you to do that. Of course, I do not believe that the iPhone is gonna get cracked easily when it just falls to the ground or anything, but mostly for the scratches. I think that this is like the number one thing that we should pay attention to because scratches are just inevitable when you don't have the the case or like a screen protector installed on your iPhone. So yeah, make sure just to clean the screen properly because once you like place the screen protector, I don't think you're going to be able to like lift it up at least like once perhaps, but yeah, it's going to be a bit complicated after that. Of course, it would be a bit better if I let someone who is like more professional to do this, but uh, I do not think that I did a bad job or anything. Okay, so it should be done, but it's not, of course, perfect, but it, that doesn't really matter that much. So yeah, I'm gonna continue. And I'm, of course, gonna set it up the regular way, but then I'm also gonna like restore it from a backup from my old iPhone. So yeah, this is just like a quick setup. Of course, if you buy a new iPhone and you already have the old one, make sure to at first backup the old one and then like restore it from the backup so everything that you had on the older iPhone is going to be part of the new one so that's definitely a good way to go about it. So yeah that would be about it I don't think that I should go any further than that hope this video helped you out this is just like a quick setup of the iPhone for more content and uh, more videos like these make sure to subscribe to the Fox Tech devices channel so yeah thanks a lot for your support and see you guys later in the future.